G'day and welcome to the second video on uh, sketching quadratic graphs um, using the turning point method. Um, for this next one I'm going to show you one that uh, doesn't quite work um, as nicely as it did before. I mean, previously we got nice x, inter uh, x intercepts, so this one we won't, but uh, that's okay. Nonetheless we go through it the exact same way. Um, you know, Based on this graph here I can already identify what the turning point is going to be. The y value of the turning point is going to be negative 6 and the x value of the turning point is going to be the opposite of this, which is negative 3. So I can already pop that um, turning point down, which is negative 3, negative 6. So the turning point method is very quick to identify um, the, the turning point. Um, it's not so quick to identify the y-intercept or the x-intercepts, but we'll, we'll no, no doubt we'll be able to find those anyway. So um, I've yeah, already found the turning point. I've popped that in. Um, I'm f now going to find the y-intercept. I make x equals 0 and I just solve the equation. So 0 plus 3 all squared, um, that's 9, uh, and then multiplied by 2, that ends up being 18, and then I minus 6 from that, which is 12. So I pop that in on my graph, which is over there, and now I want to find my x-intercepts. So I make y equals 0, and um, I go about solving that. And again, there's, there's lots of different ways that you can go about this. I'm going to um, go about it this way, um, and I, I guess you know you can have a look at it and see if you understand. Um, so uh, if you follow me from here, um, 0 equals 2 multiplied by x plus 3 all squared minus 6. I add 6 to both sides, um, and, then I, yeah, and then I divide by 2 on both sides okay, to, to get rid of that, um, the number in front of the brackets. Then I've got x plus 3 all squared equals 3. I get the square root of both sides to cancel, counteract with the, the 2. But remember when I get the square root, I always get a plus and a minus value. Okay, So I end up getting plus minus root 3 equals x plus 3. Now I subtract 3 from both sides. So I end up getting negative 3 plus or minus root 3. So the two x values that I get are negative 3 plus root 3 and negative 3 minus root 3. Now the question that you guys might ask is, you know, you'll say, how do I know what um, you know this is? How do I know what x value that is, and how do I know what x value that is? I would encourage you to keep them in, in um, uh, this form. Don't convert them to decimals. And in fact, in the in the test, I don't believe that you'll be able to ha have a calculator anyway. So you do need to um, know. Uh, so leave it in that form. But then I understand what you want to say. You know, what you want to do. You want to put it on the graph, and you don't quite know where to put it. So what I suggest that you do is you, you know you don't know what root three is, but you know roughly what um, you know you, you know the exact value of something else around it. So for example, you know what the square root of four is. You know that the square root of four is two. So therefore, the square root of three must be a little bit less than two. So I've got negative three plus something that's a little bit less than two. You can understand that that is going to be a negative um, negative number. It won't be a big negative number or Actually, it might be a little negative number because negatives are, get bigger when they get littler. Oh, that's weird. Um, but it, it, won't, it won't be um, you know, like negative 3 plus something that's close to 2. I mean, you're going to be looking at something like negative 1 as, as, as a, rough, um, a rough answer. So I'm just going to pop that on the, on the negative side over here. And then negative 3 minus root 3, which is, you know, that root 3 is, um, you know, close to 2. So negative 3 and we get, you know, 2 further to the left. That means that it's just going to be over here somewhere. I don't really care where it is as long as you know you, you've got them there. It does need to be symmetrical around um, the turning point though. So whatever distance you've got from the turning point this way, you need to also have it from um, the turning point this way as well. Okay. But I pop, pop them on, label them just so that people know what I'm doing, and then I just sketch the graph uh, like that. Okay. So that's virtually how we do that kind of question. Um, I'll show you uh, another one and then. Um, uh, we might uh, do another video after this. So the next one I've got, um, you know, x minus 4 all squared. This one doesn't look like the ones that, you know, you've been doing before, but it is exactly the same. Um, x minus 4 squared, there's a, a cheeky plus 0 on the back here. Okay, that, that's my, um, you know, my y value of the turning point. I don't need to put it in, but all, you know, like from this, I can tell that the turning point is going to be when y is 0, and when x is the opposite of that, which is positive 4. So I pop that in. Now I, I find the y-intercept. I make x equals 0, and I get 0 minus 4 squared, which is just ends up being 16. So I pop that in. And now I need to find out my x-intercepts. So I make zero um, the y value equals 0, and I get x minus 4 all squared. 
I square root both sides. Now the square root of zero just equals zero as I've put over here. And all I get is zero equals x minus four, which means my x, uh, there's only one x intercept, x equals four. And I kind of knew that already because I knew that the turning point exists at um, four, um, zero, which means that I know that you know it has to go above that line. It can't go through that line anywhere else along this. So I kind of knew that that was gonna be the case already, but I guess I just sort of proved it mathematically as well. So I've got you know uh, four, zero, and I've got zero, 16, and I pop that graph there and it looks nice and I'm very happy. So thanks for watching those two videos. I've, I've got a couple more things that I wanna show you, so um, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, thanks very much.